Hi, and welcome to Brandon McGee TV, where we show you all the cool tips and tricks to be a handy homeowner yourself. Today, I'm going to show you how to install a chair rail on a wall. Right now, we have the 1x4 up, but I'll show you four different ways to attach this piece of trim to the wall. When I first started my business, I did not nearly have enough tools, but I still accepted jobs like this with chair rails and stuff, and I didn't have a nail gun yet. So I learned different techniques to create the same look without people knowing that I didn't have a nail gun. So today I'm going to show you how you can do this same look. Well, I'll show you four different sets of tools. Well, technically it's three different sets of tools with four different processes. There's the old way. We have a hammer, a nail set, and a nail. This should be a trim head nail. Trim head nail is pretty much the same thing except with kind of a round head. I didn't have any because I never really do this way anymore. So I just use this little nail for an example and then I'll just set it down farther into the trim so that way we can fill putty over If you don't have a nail, a hammer, and a nail set, I'll also have to sh I'll show you how to install the trim using a screw gun. First you'll need a pre-drilled tip. This one's got the screw head tip on it so that way I can drill my starter hole and also bury a regular two inch, well this one's two and a half inch Phillips screw right there. So this will make sure you hit your stud nice and solid and make sure your trim doesn't go anywhere. And then I'll also be using an impact gun to put the screws in. Impact guns are awesome just because they do all the work and then you like a regular screw gun you have to push really hard but with an impact gun you can just put them in with ease and then you'll know if you hit a stud every every time by the sound it makes. And also the other screw option I'll show you how to use is a small trim head screw. This one's got a little square tip. This one's designed so you don't have to pre-drill, but it will also hold your trim up. And the hole's really small so it's easy to fill. And then I'll show you the fast way of just using a nail gun so that way you can get an idea of the speed these things move at. This one's a two inch, I'm gonna be running two inch straight nails in this one. And this is a finishing gun. And this one's only a 16 gauge, so it's a very small hole. But first, you're gonna need to find your wall studs before you get started. Since this one's already attached, I figured I'd attach it first so that way I'm not struggling on camera trying to hold it. But I'll show you how to find your wall studs. Now the easy way is to use your stud finder and then you put it on the wall, push the button, and it says ready, and then you'll slowly slide it. And then right there is the edge of your stud. So make sure to go three quarters of an inch over, and then right there is where your stud's gonna be. So I marked it right here where our stud's at. And then also, after you find one stud, you can just take a tape measure and then measure 16 inches, and then that will show you where your next stud is. And just to be sure, and then you can check it, check it with your stud finder. So right there is our stud. We've got three quarters of an inch over, and I'll mark it right here. And then if you don't have a stud finder, I'm going to show you a different way to find your wall studs using a screw. And we're kind of, we know one stud's around here, so we'll go past it. And I'm going to stick to about a three quarters of an inch, because we're going to cover this up anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, see, we missed it. But the impact right here is where I have it marked with my stud finder. I'll let you hear the difference between the screw whenever it goes in when it hits a stud. You hear the difference of how the drill's struggling now? So that lets you know that you hit a wall stud. I'll show you the hammer and nail technique. You'll find where your stud is. Right here, I'm just gonna put it right in the middle here since I know where the stud is and we're gonna make nice contact. And really, the trim's not that heavy. So you just take it. Hold it with your index finger and your thumb, and always stare at the nail head whenever you're nailing with the hammer and nails. Because if you don't stare at the nail head, you'll miss, and you'll hit your fingers, and that will suck. So always stare right here the whole time, and then you'll never hit your fingers. And then once you get the nail started, then you can move your fingers. Oh, safety first, don't forget your safety glasses. And then you can drive it home. See how that went in nice and solid? And now we have a trim nail just hanging out there. 
We don't want that. So to make it sit in the trim so we can fill over it with wood putty, we'll take the nail set and then we'll get it at least sunk in at least a sixteenth of an inch. See, now it's indented into the trim. Now we'll be able to fill over it and then you'll never see where that nail was. Next, I'm gonna show you how to use a two inch screw to put it in. You're gonna to wanna to pre-drill the hole first with a countersink bit. After you get the hole pre-drilled, you wanna make sure to check it with your screw to make sure it's gonna cover, it's gonna fill the hole completely, but you don't want it sunk down too much. So as you can see now, we should probably go a little deeper with our pre-drill hole. You can also do this with a bigger drill bit and stage it out. And then check it again. And that looks just about perfect. Then you'll grab your other drill and then get the screw started up in it and then just put it in with the drill. You heard the difference of the drill once it hit the stud it got much louder. And then with our pre-drill hole we were able to sink the screw down nice to you how to use trim screws which are really handy to have. They go in without having to pre-drill and they don't crack out your trim usually. So they require a small square tip bit. There you have my stud marked out ready to go. So once you get the screw started, you're going to want to move your hand away from it so that way you don't have any accidents and poke a hole through your finger. And you can already see the difference in hole size between the Phillips head screw and the trim head screw. The trim head screw went down easy and we didn't have to pre-drill and it's nice. Finally, I'll show you how to use the trim gun. Trim guns can turn big projects into small projects because they're super fast and efficient. So if you're wondering if you should buy a nail gun, eh, yeah, probably. Of course you need a nail gun. Safety first, of course. Safety glasses are on and watch how fast we can attach this trim. Oh, that's a lot faster. Look at how you made all your holes in your trim. I'm gonna show you how to fill them with that lightweight spackle. You can use this stuff or you can use drywall mud, but I recommend the lightweight spackle for a trim because it's a lot easier to sand. So for the small holes, you can take your finger and then just get a little bit on, on the top of your finger there and just rub them in and then make sure to leave a little bit on top because it will shrink even though it says shrink free but it does shrink so you just want to leave a little bit exposed up top here that way you can just sand it off and then it'll give you a nice smooth edge for your bigger screws like your trim head screw and then your phillips head screw i'm going to recommend using a putty knife on this one just because they're a bigger hole if you use your fingertip you're going to end up indenting it and then you'll be able to see where your screws were so just take a little bit on your putty knife and then rub it in at least two different ways and then put a thin cover on it. Heavy enough to fill it but not enough to drench it. And then take your mud knife and then clean off the extra mud on the sides. And that way it gives you a clear, a clear identification of where your screw was so you can find it later to sand it off. Hope you found this trim video helpful today. And if you liked this video, you can get more how-to videos like this at my website at brandmcgee.tv. Sign up for our email subscribe list, and then we'll send you two videos a month of something how-to, whether it's painting or tiles or flooring or just cool pro tips and tricks. We'll do a video and show you the best ways of how we know how to do it. Also, if you liked this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel below, and remember, think happy, be happy, and you'll always be happy. Thanks for watching today.